Hi, I'm Tish. I'm Juliana. And this is In the Movies at the Montreal International Documentary Festival. Two nights. Saturday night. We went to a screening of Raise Your Arms and Twist, documentary of NMB48. This is the one, Tish has been so excited about this. This is the one we were both really looking forward to. I picked this out of the schedule of like possible movies like almost like right away as soon as I saw what it was about. It's about the pop idol groups in Japan and the way they're very like manufactured and like worshipped and like this whole like thing which I didn't know that much about before the documentary but I knew a little about it and I'm like fascinated with it so I was like we have to see this yeah I'm so excited and it was incredible <laughs> so <laughs> NMB48 is an idol group um they're called idol groups or idols uh, it is pop music, so they sing and dance. Mm -hmm. It ha it's connected to other groups. It's That's like a, a thing. It's like a it's sister group. Yeah, it's a three whole, other like, groups. System. Like <sighs> even within this group, there was like sixty girls, yeah. or forty eight because it's called forty eight. We're not We're sure. <laughs> Divided into three teams. Yeah, and there's several of these groups that have like three teams each. Like in the big competition thing at the end, which we'll get to we'll that. We'll get to that. It was there was oh like two hundred and seventy four. It was something like that. Yeah. These groups from uh, NMB is from from Osaka, but there's like Tokyo and Hiroshima and other places. Um, four of these major groups, part mm -hmm. of the forty eight system at least. We can't explain this whole system to you. It's, but it's a lot of young Japanese girls yes. singing and dancing. It's <laughs> big arena shows with like the whole big groups. Mm -hmm. It's putting out singles and music videos. But it's also like daily performances at like their own little theater of the like smaller like teams. Yeah, and I, that was the thing, like, I had no idea about that. Like, each of these, like, NMB, AKB had, like, their own headquarters with their own stage. And then every day, one of the teams would put on a performance, like, every single day. And these tickets are not easy to get, even though it's daily shows. They were saying it's like that a it's lottery. a lottery. It's like one in 20 and one for in, those shows? Yeah, one in 20 chance at a daily show. Like, that's insane. That's insane. Does the whole, like, system of it was, like, mind-blowing. So the documentary follows a few different girls and their kind of journey over, like, a year. Mm -hmm. Kind of showing all the things that these groups do. Like, getting picked for the special group that actually gets to do the singles they put out. Mm -hmm. There's only, like, 20 of them. And it's like very, there's like this whole hierarchy and like girls get to go to the front or girls are named center or girls get to go to this special. Very dance moms. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's the other thing. It turns out this whole thing is like sports teams or something. Oh. They get drafted and like they audition and get like placed onto teams and they switch teams and they yeah. also can be on two teams at once. Like they'll be on their like... NMB, but some of them are also on like one of the teams for like AKB. And, yeah, like, go to do their performances as well. It was in yeah. <laughs> this sports metaphor was like really insane, especially because like uh, just in terms of like fans also like picking favorites and like yeah. rooting for certain girls or certain teams or certain yeah. groups. Like it was but yeah, sports it's, and it's crazy. There was an election where. I'm the fans vote and the girls are ranked the top 80. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of the big thing the documentary is leading up to. Yeah. They fucking campaign. Yeah. And it's really important to them it's... because it's their job. And they say like different things play parts and like your handshake lens. They've... Okay, <laughs> they do like meet and greets. 
Except <laughs> kind of barely. No. Okay, so you're in like so this much. giant like room, like they do kind of like for cons yeah. convention. Yeah, yeah. Convention center. You have your, like a line measured off. Except there's like at least like twenty girls. Yeah, each with girl their own little like booth thing. Each girl has a line <laughs> with a line, yeah. and it's just handshakes. They're called. And they only get eight seconds with them. So yeah. they come and say, like, how much they love them. And the girls, like, hold their hands, like, across the table. And mm-hmm. just say, like, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. When they say eight seconds, like, they have a security guard that stands right there, has a timer, it hits eight seconds, and they whisk the person away. It's, like, it's, <laughs> it's insane. It is insane. And there's, like, the competition between the girl with super long line, because she's really yeah. popular, and girls with no one for hours. They do that for like nine hours, and, and the girls are still like so like perky and cute, it's and I'm like, crazy. That is what makes them like idols. Like it's not, but it's not about the music, guys. No, it's, it's about the performance for sure, and it's also about person. just trying to be a fan favorite. The it's sexualization crazy. of these girls too, though, is like a huge. It's pretty much like that's what the industry is. Like that's where it the is. money comes from. That's it's. When you look at their fans, they're like 90% male. They're older often. And these young girls do these videos, but also like a major part of their career is posing in like men's magazines and bikinis. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting it now. This is not like (laughs) pop music. This is a totally different thing. This is idols. The whole thing, which I think is Japan as a whole, has this problem (laughs) of very young, submissive, pretty, just cute little girls, girls, young women being super sexualized. Yes. And with like their fans and the fact that they are doing videos in bikinis and they're they're posing for men's magazines and they're also yeah. modeling and stuff like it's the sex industry like it, that's it, it, it is it really it, is it, that's what drives the whole thing it's crazy because most of their fans are men yeah this is not little girls looking up to pop stars no. like little girls looking up to britney spears this is this is this is idols <laughs> I, this is not pop music this is no. something else it's fucking fascinating. It was incredible. I'm obsessed with it now. <laughs> and they showed the new girls that had just been recruited. And they looked like they were like, like they 12. were so like, young looking. And crazy. after seeing all the like sexualization, like yeah. coming to that realization of it, and terrifying. I was like, oh god, this feels like prostitution. Really gross. <laughs> I get the sense that it was pretty big. Like they said, the election got like three million something votes. Yeah, that's not three million people. That's three million votes. But. It was still, it seemed like it was really popular, but also not like, they're not all so popular, they can't like walk down the street popular, yeah. like famous. Well, but, and maybe some of that though is the fact that like it's, it's huge with men, but it's not huge with yes. women, right? It's massive it's and yet strange. very specific. Yeah, it's really Like bizarre. possibly like Comic-Con stuff, like specific genre stuff. Yeah. Where like you have very devoted, a lot of very devoted fans to this thing, but not known just like household name. Yeah. And like Japan does have pop stars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. It would be like household pop names. stars, movie stars, yeah, yeah, all that. We need to talk about this forever. We could, we could go on. So we're obsessed with this now. Yes. This is our lives now. <laughs> just watching. <laughs> <laughs> these like music videos and like learning about these groups. Anyway, it was a great, it was great documentary, great subject to learn about, and we are obsessed. Highly recommend. Yes, must watch. Find it, watch it. Yeah. We have one more screening tomorrow. We do, yay! So, um, what you can watch all of our review things. I know you're getting sick of like the gray hotel. <laughs> yeah. This is where our light is, guys. We gotta find our light. Yeah, so watch all those and watch our vlog of this weekend because we're having a great time. Yeah. Yay. Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>